live look at my wallet right now with the new Star Wars announcements. Surrender, no mods. Welcome to episode 88 wow. of the Hollow Chronicles podcast. We are your hosts. I am Andy. And I am Josh. Uh, thanks for joining us here at the Hollow Chronicles show. You can find us on YouTube. Well, you might be watching us right now. And you can also listen to us on a lot of the major podcast platforms. Like, Such as? Like uh, Apple Podcasts or Spotify or SoundCloud or even Amazon Music. And... Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's really helping us out. We'll talk about that a bit more later. And if you want to join a growing community of collectors like yourself, mm. Andy, you might consider our Patreon page, Patreon slash Hollow Chronicles. For just one cheeseburger just a month. One little burgers. And then uh, we are honored to be partnered with Red 5 Designs. A couple shows ago, we had an awesome update from them. Yep. Can't wait for their new product. And of course, welcome to all our friends in the chat. Hello. Hello. Now, depends. <laughs> Cheerio. Cheerio. Josh, there's what? been a bunch of new uh, Star Wars related toy and collectible announcements in the in the last week. And um, I'd like to go over a couple of them with Would you. Would you? Yes. Would you like to talk about Would, toys, Andy? Shall we? We shall. Let's. Let's do it. First of all. Okay. Before we go there, all right, all right. before we go there, it's about time. Great shirt. Hey, hey that's a great you shirt. The shirt. I you love the shirt. the shirt. I, every uh, you've had it on for an hour now, and and every time I look at it, I want to sing just another tequila yeah. song. Yeah, it is definitely a medley with of a little colors. bit of. <laughs> yeah, we got some din. We got some Grogu. We got some Bantha action. What else we got? Is that it? Just Bantha Grogu? Oh no, we got Razor Crest in there, oh, formerly yeah. known as Razor Crest. Uh, yeah, it's a great shirt. Much love to my wife who uh, who uh, picked this up for me. Un, just un. I didn't ask her to. Just cause. Just boom, shows up. Nice dress shirt, kind of shirt you can wear out on the town. Oh yeah, definitely. Subtly roll in, subtly, so, obviously, very subtle. Very subtle shirt. Roll into a nice place, nice place to eat. Yeah. Maybe, and if maybe you get a little spaghetti sauce on it, it goes right no with problem. It. Rub it up. Right Rub, in there. Right in there. Right in there. And maybe, just maybe, impress the wait staff. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, chef comes out just to talk to you because of your shirt. Hey, great shirt, man. Great shirt. Would you like to try the calamari? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like a shot and of Jameson with Shout that? out to our friend uh, Akbar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, calamari joke. Hey. hey. All right. Thanks uh, for the shirt recognition. All right. First up on our toy announcements for this last week that, that really are going to have an impact on our wallets, like the intro <sighs> would suggest. Yeah. I, this flag. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's just it's some it's tissue. Just Charmin. Yeah. Hey, two ply. But, nothing but the best at the Hollow Chronicle studio, two right? Ply. Two, two ply. Studio 66, two ply. nothing but the best. To our patrons, uh, don't worry. We're not blowing all our money on toilet paper. <laughs> Your money. <laughs> uh, yeah, Coors Lights. And <laughs> Coors Lights and double two, ply. Two ply toilet paper. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. First, uh, put, put, a, put a picture up there, There's Josh. a picture up there. All right, this came in under the radar for me. I don't know about you, Josh, but I remember I'm talking about this. Okay. So this is a Mandalorian forge Lego set, uh, that comes with three minifigures, okay. uh, which include the Mandalorian, the armor and the Visla guy who is also known as the heavy Mandalorian heavy bro for the black series collectors. Um, AKA Favreau. Favreau. Yeah. Favreau. Fav <laughs> okay. So this set um, is going to be priced at $30. And I think it's a really cool little set. I love the three minifigures that you're going to yeah. get with this. Agreed. I, I mean, the minifigures make it. They're great. Love them. 
so are you a minifigure? And this is a question I'd ask any clay. So like, are you interested? Like minifigs are sometimes a big deal for people. They want to get the particular uh characters and and all the yes and we're actually going to talk more about this okay all right. next well, i one. didn't know this by the no, way no this is it the minifigures can really make the set um for example uh, uh not that long ago within the last six months well the last year yep there was uh an ahsoka tano with a with a, a republic tank and yeah. uh, some some droids now what was cool about that set was that there was an a, an Ahsoka trooper with it, you know, with the right with the cool helmet. Yeah, and so I know a lot of people bought that set to get that minifigure. Okay, and so you'll see that with with the hardcore Lego collectors that they'll buy sets just for the figures. So the reason I ask, and that's a great thank you. And we'll and you'll also see a lot of sets for sale afterwards without sans figures without the minifigures. Right. Yeah. So that's what I was gonna say. I'm not so much a, a like I, I don't get excited about these little sets, mm -hmm. like just too much for me. But you're saying that sometimes Lego may be building the set just to just to promote the figs, or or people are buying the sets just to get the figs. Yes, one hundred percent. But I mean, you don't think? Come on, Lego knows that. Oh well, yeah. They're like, Absolutely. hey, if we want to sell this random forge set, let's make sure we put the armor in there. And yeah, I mean, man. why wouldn't you have the armor with the forge set? Right. Well, good. Point. But but they the, also added the heavy end. Right, in, he's the so. cherry on top. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the Mandalorian has come with a number of sets. You sure. can get them in a lot of different things. As of right now, the heavy Mandalorian only comes with this set. I'd like to say kudos to Lego for not throwing a Grogu in as just to, you know, really get the kids. <laughs> yeah, mean, Grogu is. Remember when we bitched about him not being anywhere? And remember when we bitched about him being everywhere? Yeah, like right now, <laughs> like like for the last six months. <laughs> All right, so that's a cool set. Thank you, Lego. That's a cool set, and, here's a and little, it's only uh, thirty bucks. Here's like you said. Here's a uh, close-up shot of the minifigs coming with it. How many pieces? I didn't see. Uh, can we even see two hundred fifty-eight? Two hundred fifty-eight pieces. Thirty bucks. Great minifigures. Build time average for a professional builder like yourself. Uh, uh, two hundred fifty-eight pieces. Half an hour. Damn. Wow. Here, I'm gonna put you back on screen. Go ahead and flex. <laughs> <laughs> no th this would be great this it's at a price point for a lot of people which is a how much 30 bucks 30 bucks oh, i love it yeah. 30 bucks and you know honestly the the minifigures themselves you go sell on ebay for more than 30 dollars interesting but you, the the heavy mando is probably 30 bucks by himself can you still order it <laughs> yeah it's not out for order yet it's great I don't believe it's out for over yet, but all, all right. right. All so right. then that leads us into the next Lego announcement, <laughs> which they had been kind of ramping up sure. for. Um, and, and this is the new UCS Ultimate Collector Series Republic Gunship. Boom. Now there have been a few non-UCS Republic Gunship Lego sets, but this is a big boy. This is over three thousand pieces. This is two f over, just over two feet long, just over two feet wide, wingtip to wingtip. Mm -hmm. um, its price point is three hundred and fifty dollars. That doesn't sound terrible for that much. I mean, no, it doesn't. Just, I'm looking over here at the A wing, I'm trying to see how many pieces that thing has. Well, but it, it's the, the French there. side. <laughs> Dang so it! I, la pieces, la pieces. Le <laughs> um this thing in and i saw a picture of a guy holding one that was put together and it's sizable sure. it's gonna take up some real estate on a shelf no doubt um awesome set and this is something that it's it's an attack of the clones uh version of the republic gunship so when we first see the republic gunship this is what they look like and that was right. an attack of the clones now the one complaint I have, and I'm not the only one, is the minifigures. Oh. This one gets comes with two minifigures. You know, you can see down by the plaque. Yeah. Um, sorry, I don't have a, a good close-up version. But it comes with a Mace Windu and um, a generic clone trooper. Now, Which phase? One? Phase one 
yeah. clone trooper, which would be Attack of the Clones sure. era. Now this, there's some cl- complaints about this because we've gotten Mace in other sets and okay. other versions of Mace too. And God, with all the hype around clones, especially with Bad Batch and and there's just a, I think there's a general love for clones anyway. He could have maybe given us a clone that has a name. Mm. You know, I think that would have been better. That would have been a better idea. Now, not everybody knows all the clone names. That's kind of, you can get into the weeds with that, but. Or how about even two clones with different color designations or two clones with the same, but just enough to fill the cockpit. Because you know Mace ain't flying that. Right. Or two clone pilots. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, that would make a lot of sense. I, I understand putting a Jedi in there with them. Sure. That's that's cool. And and you know, we've gotten a lot of Obi-Wans and Anakins and even Maces. And, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have them maybe a different one. But that is that's not, small potatoes. That's not going to prevent... Yeah. I don't think it's going to prevent people from no, buying the sh- set. the ship is amazing. You don't buy UCS sets for the minifigures necessarily. And there are even some UCS sets that don't come with any minifigures at all. Mm-hmm. Like I'm thinking of the X-Wing. Doesn't I mean, You would think there would be an X-Wing pilot. Or a Luke. Or a Luke or a Wedge pilot. or yeah. Borkins or any... You know. Oh, please. Let's push. They don't make Legos that big. <laughs> <laughs> Brickens. Brickens. Um, but but then there's like the UCS uh, Slave One that comes with a few. So uh, you get like a Han and Carbonite, you get a Boba, you get a Bespin. Is this a cost thing? I don't know. Or is it just an effort thing? I don't I don't know. Well and then like the 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 ta- the blockade runner UCS. Yeah. Doesn't come with any figures. Right, but that was old. That's old school UCS. Right, that's right. That's and they kind of made up for it by making a non UCS that's almost the same size, came with plenty of figures. Had three PO, had yeah. uh, a couple Leia, of, couple of rebel rebel soldiers. Dudes. Yeah. I, I feel like that's the right way to do it if you're buying a big piece like this. I, I really think maybe there should just be a minimum. If you're buying a UCS Three hundred fifty dollar pieces. You get four minifigs minimum. Be cool, right? Yeah. I, or I'm, are they catering to like the massive collectors that have these extra figs that maybe don't fit into their scene, and now you can push them over into the yeah into the one that you just bought. And even if you wanted to have the the trooper and mace, great. Get put a throw a couple throw an obscure one in there, right? That only comes with this set, which they sometimes do. Yeah, the snow speeder came with two snow speeder pilots. It should, right? I mean, that's iconic. That makes sense. I guess you could get away with the uh, with the transport by saying there were different variations of who was in the ship. Yeah, all the time. So anyway, that's a slight. That's small. It's a slight critique. Let's talk about how amazing this, this thing looks. No, it looks it looks fantastic. Uh, <laughs> it's again, it's two feet by two feet. You know, in length and width, it's massive. There. The, the canopy pieces are unique to this set. Um, the little bubble on the wing for the, you know, like the laser. Yeah. Those are unique to the set and, and uh, molded for it. And I just, I think it's an awesome set. I think it's something that they're, they're connecting with uh, an upswing of favor with clones right now. Oh, oh. do we have okay. a timer? It's a communicator. Okay. Went off. Sorry. <laughs> but these are, you can see these Republic gunships in Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, um, in the Bad Batch, in Clone Wars animated series. Like they, they exist in a lot of different shows, a lot of oh. different formats. And so I think it was the absolute right Let's choice. Let's talk about the gunship real quick. Let's do it. I didn't care about the gunship when I first saw the, uh, you know, when I first saw the movies, right? The, okay. the prequels. It really has gained some traction as being, you know, the deal is, is there's tons of them, right? Mm-hmm. So, the, like with X Wings, there's tons of X Wings, but you had Luke's X Wing. Mm-hmm. You didn't really have, I guess you could say you had Obi Wan, or at least for Clone Wars, you had Anna, but it wasn't that they got in a gunship, whatever gunship that showed up. Mm-hmm. Same with Yoda, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But these are, 
these have really kind of caught on. They've really caught my eye, I guess I could say, as being like, wow, that's a cool ship. Do you think that Clone Wars, you know, especially with like a Filoni or a Favre, even Bad Batch, I mean, their ship, they don't have like a ghost like in Rebels. And, and they should have had like one of the, like they should have a big enough ship where they've got one of these drop ships modded out A-team style, Bad Batch style, right? Mm -hmm. And just like a badass drop ship because this is super iconic. That's how I feel. Like this, this now has become, like I first said, I, I didn't care about it, but now it's become an iconic view. I, I want to see this. I didn't care in the beginning, but now I care. So you want to see awesome representation of these ships? It's in the Tartakovsky Clone Wars. Uh, right, right, right. Those, like, well, everything is just so over the top. Over the top, yeah. Including these ships and how they fly them. Like, they fly them like dune buggies. They fly them like, you know, little uh, speeder bikes. They're they're drifting, they're drifting, drifting and sure, just sure. bombing, you know, in outer space, you know. And then, oh god, but you get my drift, cool. right? I mean, I guess I, there's not an drift. iconic I, I A wing, there's not an iconic yeah. Y wing, you know. Fine, but the the ships themselves are iconic. It would be cool to kind of have one get a name, right? Although with X wings, you had just have Luke's X wing, right? Red it's not five. like you know, yeah, right, right, yeah. So, all right, well, anyway, just I think we, thought. I think we can move on, but. Are you going to get this, Josh? Are you going to get this? <sighs> this feels like a Andy. I've got some decisions to make here. All right, let's go back. What about the uh, the the Forge set? No. Not going to get that? No, because I did like what you had to say, say about, you know, collecting minifigs, and I kind of even flashed in my brain. But I, I just don't know that it intrigues me enough. I kind of like the big pieces. That's why I would be more... For this transport than i would for the, the forge like 30 bucks 30 bucks that's what Lego i can does. see myself getting it for one of my boys right exactly kind of like uh even you know the little stuff they throw in the, the really little packs you know i i'm not like grabbing them like oh my gosh this minifig's awesome i i i don't have that passion for the minifigs i think they're great right. but it's not something i'm going to start some kind of roll call for yeah i i've got I'm going to really have to think. Now, long. you're more Lego than I am. I mean, I still have Legos in the box that have been in for over a year. <laughs> yes, you do. But I'm a bit of, hoarder, uh, mm. of a hoarder in that respect. bothers that. me. I know it does. I'm going to have to think about this gunship because I love it. and But, but I'm going to have to play that game. What do I love more? Yeah. Do I love this more? Well, I mean. Or do I love this more? Or can I do both? If I'm going to spend $350... It's probably going to be a hot toy, which we is our next item. Uh, honestly, if it were if it were between this ship, which is amazing, mm -hmm. if it if there were a, ch a choice to be made, and what we're about to show, there's there's really no contest. What are we about to show, Josh? This. Oh my god! Dang, I want that so bad. I want that. I like. I, I'm getting that. Let, let me just put it that way. <laughs> that That is coming. I put on Twitter, I, I said, between Josh and I, if I told you the over-under for number of these that we would buy is 1.5, what do you pick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, in fact, Johnny asked, uh, asked if we were going to get it. Red 5 Designs. Thank you. If, if we were going to get it, and I said, one of us will for sure get it. Right now, I what, just confirmed that for myself. <laughs> so you heard it here first. Um, what what I'm what I want what I'm curious about, and I feel like we should kind of tag team this a little bit. If you get the Boba Fett with the throne room, does that mean I should get the deluxe uh, Boba Robed. Fett, Roba Fett, Roba Fett? But uh, but I then I kicked it to you. Aren't you already getting that? Well, and and I kicked it back to you by saying the very <laughs> a lot of kick, the very intelligent response of, did I? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Did I? I don't. Are are you asking me? Yeah, <laughs> Josh, I am asking uh, you. Uh, no, this. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Uh, Fennec. And, and actually, is this the only angle shot we have so far? Because you put these picks in. Yes. Okay, so but Fennec with the drink, with the with the lazy pose, which of course. Well, you right can... now there is no Fennec hot toy. 
right? This is just... Uh, so she doesn't come with this? No. Oh, shit. It's just Boba and the throne. But who made the Fennec? Is that just a Leia they dressed up? Hot Toys does this. They'll, they'll Easter egg a whole figure and then not come out with one. With the drink? Yes. I mean, I have to be honest. Boba's amazing, and I, my mind's still not changed, but Fennec was kind of my, like, yes... Are you sure about That's this? the ultimate they, accessory. Did they say it specifically? Yeah. Repaint armor and throne. There is no Fennec Shan. Bastards. I know. Well, then there will be a Fennec Shan, and she will be mine. Well, that's what, that's what you'd like to think. And that's what I thought, too. And then Hot Toy Expert Johnny then reminded... What do you remind He you reminded of? me that in the Bespin Leia Hot Toy that he got... There were pictures of a Bespin Han Solo that came with, or that didn't like come with the set, the or the figure. But there is still yet to be a Hot Toy Bespin Han. So, and that was a couple years ago. Yeah. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, this just in: <laughs> Roba Fett's on order. <laughs> I did. I did. I didn't know. I, I thought you did. I didn't know I did. Uh, it's just <laughs> another a, example of me knowing your stuff better such than an you. Ass. Yeah. That order was placed in March. Yeah. When it was announced. Oh, now I'm excited. You shouldn't have told me that I maybe had possibly ordered this. It would have been better if it just showed up. Nah, I would have seen that. You would have. <sighs> There's, I've got, I'm looking now at my, my maybes, or not my maybes, my pre orders. I don't 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 get me into don't get me into it. Let me just put it this: there are three. What three are they? Can you guess? Well, we one, already know Roba Fett. Roba Fett. That's the deluxe version. Yeah. Which I should just which share comes a screen. With a ton I of stuff. Oh my god! It comes with it comes with him in the robe. Here, I'm going to put it on the screen. Do it. Um. Let's just hope I don't like share any of my. And we're both getting information a, that matters, but <laughs> we're both getting a Rex, right? Okay, look at this. Look at this guy. I know we went off topic here. That's right. Should we do a hang on, hang on, hang on? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got uh, Honey is offered me a reward. Oh, so congrats! Get rid of that. Look at this guy. Yeah. Oh, look at but, sweet. I like that. I mean, come on. No, oh, love it. And then. You got to dress him up. You're going to dress him in the beat-up armor. The beat-up armor is worth it alone. I don't know that Roba Fett will ever stand on my shelf because that beat-up armor fascinates me. Well, Unless I get both. I'm yeah, just kidding. You do. You, don't, you get two figures? Deluxe. Oh, damn. Just like your deluxe loot. Oh. Then look. Look at that pick right there. Back to back. Mm. I do feel like Tamora's head's a little bigger than it really is in person. Yeah, the the face to forehead ratio isn't quite <laughs> screen accurate. The lean over launch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tell, no way! That doesn't come with it, does it? That would be specially sweet. Feed, specially features damaged stormtrooper helmet. So helmet, yeah, but not helmet, but not the the trooper. Not full. Oh, there it is, right there. There's everything that comes with it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so mm -hmm. excited that I forgot that I remembered to order that. Well, if you're going to order both of them, then then maybe I'll just let you order both of them and I'll get the Lego. I'm definitely getting Boba's throne. You know I'm doing that. And then I will enjoy the Lego in your collection. <laughs> Dang it. I mean, come on. You don't have to, you don't I know, but I, is it weird that I feel weird about getting the same thing as you? No. Are you sure? I think because we obviously... I, it's, I have some pie-in-the-sky hope someday that we just have like a single wide where we just put all wait, of wait, our wait, stuff wait. in you, you a and museum. I, you and I move into a single wide No, we together. don't move in. We all just right. like have a... <laughs> single wide? We're going to need a double wide, brother. Okay, a double wide it is. And we just, <laughs> we just have a double wide of our stuff that we can pot in. It'll just be... <laughs> <laughs> it's, my, it's like the wish version of skywalker red <laughs> so if i win the lottery i'm getting his double wide <laughs> it's happening Josh. we're we're gonna be we, we, we could call ourselves steve semi-sweet steve yeah <laughs> steve yeah 
<laughs> exactly. Bittersweet. Bittersweet. Just uh, our small museum of crap. No, because where did we go? This is where I did. I did this at the uh, Hero. <laughs> I go. hate going to restaurants and ordering something, and then my wife orders the same thing. Why? Like, why? Why no, but, do that? But, I mean, I was asking, why do I hate why it? Why do you hate it? Why do I hate it? Because what if I want to try what you're eating? Well, it's exactly what I'm eating. Well, then, okay, that's no fun. Oh, that sounds more like a wife move, though. Yeah, like, I, I like order something. My wife always goes, "If you order that, or I'll order this," and that's I always would, a good deal. Yes, I love that. I'm like, I love it. Give me half of Let's, that. I'll give you half of this. Sure, I love doing that. But Best if we get the same worlds. thing, guess what? We can't do. Try new stuff. You can't, but you can always finish off her plate too. But it's the same thing that I had. Maybe it's really good. Maybe so back is. to back to what the hell we were talking about. I'm not exactly sure. I felt bad when we were at SummerCon, and I bought. Our good friend Jason's, uh, the the cantina. But I bought a metal version. Mm-hmm. You have not a like a metal version. It's pretty metal. I'll it's tell you what. Metal. But it's literally printed on metal. Mm-hmm. And you, you have and had ha- have had for a while mm-hmm. the you the know, print this print. Yeah, like two years now, three years maybe. Yes, it was a couple of. Yeah, and then he is then since then, but it's so vibrant. It's actually sitting over there with the frame in shipping. I can't wait to put it up on the wall. Not sure where. Probably over your head up there, Andy. Mm. Somewhere, or maybe right there. I might just fill that gap right there above TK2K. De los Jedi. (laughs) No, no, no. Above, right there in that gap. That nice long gap. Boom, perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, anyway. So back to your original question. I don't think it's weird okay. that, that we get the same stuff. I do think that it is a nice divide and conquer. So if I can pull down this and this, and right. you can pull down that and that. We do live as the crow flies about three miles of, away We from do me. also do a show together where we, where we show off stuff, stuff we collect and yeah. stuff other people collect. So I, I, think that's, I think that's fine. Okay. Okay. So uh, that being said, let's go with the neutral ground. Buy whatever you want, if I have it or not, or buy something that I don't have, and that's how I feel. Okay. Make everyone happy. You can look at it, smell it, touch it, and I'll also check the toys out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I'll go home. Moving on. And it still, it still gets to be here. It does. It's beautiful. <sighs> okay. It's beautiful. All right. Those are awesome pieces. I'm, again, super pumped about Boba's Throne. Now, that's all... I mean, what if this show's just a complete flop? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. Kidding. No chance. No chance. Um, yeah. Well, okay. Okay. Well, I feel like I guess a little bit better about that. Do you? A uh, little bit. I still don't know what I'm going to do, but I, at least I feel a little bit better about it. All right. Yeah. All right. You don't look very convincing. Yeah. All right. Well... Josh, let's talk serious here for a moment. Oh, okay. You brought this to my attention. In fact, I'm going to let you sure kind of take the reins here momentarily about uh, a charitable opportunity. Yes. Yes, we, um, you know, in our, our local, you know, of course, everyone's doing their own thing in their local community. And we have, actually, my wife has a very good friend who um, put a post up on Facebook, and it was awesome. And my wife tagged me in it. Uh, I'm not... I'm not huge on Facebook day to day, but uh, tagged me in it, told me about it, and it's an it's an auction. It's like a silent auction, and it's for a signed Mayhew and in one of the most iconic uh, Chewies you could ever see, which is Chewie on Hoth with the snow and the wind blown right. Chewie fur. It's beautiful, and the Mayhew signature is right into the white section, super bright. I have a Mayhew. And it's kind of written over a darker picture. It's not easy to see, really, if you look at it. And this one is just gorgeous. So it's written in gold. Um, so I'm trying to bring it up while I'm, I'm killing time here. But uh, uh, really good. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, this gal lost her boy to, to, to cancer. And um, some, some of the package that was put together before he passed away, had he loved Star Wars. He was a Jedi. Okay. Um, and uh, one of the packages that was put together for him by the Children's Hospital was a, was Star Wars, and it included this Peter Mayhew signed poster. So, you know, he's since passed, and it's been a few years now, and, and she's moved on, and 
uh, not moved on, she's moved towards um, putting this out there so that she can take the proceeds and donate it to the hospital that helped care for him, which I think is just awesome. Yeah. Right. And, uh, uh, and that means that, you know, and this is just a very small circle of friends, her friends on Facebook and, and Andy and I decided that we were going to share that out to um, everyone else. Uh, you guys watching, it's a limited time. Uh, today's the 16th. I believe it goes to uh, just a few days from now. Let me check. Uh, well, wait. Uh, uh, it, it started on the 14th. So it goes through the 20. Today is the 16th. Today is the 16th. When you hear this, it'll be the 19th. Yes. So um, that means you only have about two and a half days from time of, of this uh, hearing this, which is fine. That's enough time for you to decide whether you're going to bid on this or not. And it's a silent auction, very, very low key, uh, uh, you know, through her or, um, and the post is already up on Facebook for us. It will have been there for a few days by the time you hear this. And we're happy to facilitate any silent bids through a direct message to us, or if you'd prefer to go and, um, and put that message to the post itself, the post, the original poster, um, whose, whose name is Ingrid, um, then by all means do so. And she's already had some fantastic bids. So I'm, I'm really happy to, to say that. So don't come limping in. Let me tell you that. It's a silent auction, so I won't say what the current bid is, but don't come limping in because this is a really nice piece. I got to get up on the screen. So Andy, fill some time for me really quick. I'll get it here in just a second. And this, what this might, um, what this might end up doing for us as well right. is, uh, is bringing about, we're, we're, talked about, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of spitting my words out here. Um, what we may end up doing too is uh, having an auction of our own. And this is just, we're just in the early stages of, of, of putting this together, but probably within the next week or so, by next week, we'll have it all hammered out, but we're going to try to do an auction too, where all proceeds would go towards um, uh, a, a charitable event like uh, like what's happening here. Um, so there you have it on your screen. Yes, and we'll we'll talk about that in depth a little more here after we're done. But here it is. So this is that signed Mayhew. It's amazing. That is one of my favorite pictures of Chewy right there. Yeah, that's great. Like he just like he just blew up a probe droid. Well, and the cool thing about it is, is like all the snow on his right side. That's all real. Like they're in those real conditions. Yeah. He's dealing with that wind. I mean, maybe they threw a fan on him. I don't know, but I don't think they had to. Mm -mm. And uh, it's just an iconic image of Chewie signed by the late, great Mayhew. Um, and as you can see there, it, it's to support the uh, Sarcoma Awareness Month, which is obviously the, the, you know, the ailment that this gal's uh, sweet, sweet boy had. And um, silent auction. She's an, a fantastic person. We're honored to, uh, be able to help her and we hope you guys do too. So check it out. Um, I, I personally own a Mayhew. I know that they're going rates online right now, especially since his passing are, are decent. And I think, uh, that you can support a good cause and also get, this is one I, this is one I'm having a hard time. I, I'm wondering, let me ask you this. <laughs> can I undercut the bidders? Can I overbid them? I'm just kidding. I won't do that. I'm, I'm removing myself. But this is one I'm having a hard time not just getting for myself. So uh, anyway, uh, fantastic cause. Find it on our Facebook page at Holochronicles uh, slash Holochronicles, whatever. And uh, we will uh, be happy to help you if you're interested in uh, bidding yourself through silent auction. We'll pass on your bid to the proper person. Or if you just want to go direct, I've talked with her and she's okay with you guys just DMing her. But, but man, who wouldn't want this in their collection? Pretty cool and cool opportunity. Yes, and good. a good cause. Yeah, good luck to you. Good luck to everybody out there. Awesome. Check it out. So, and and to continue what you were saying, I mean, this is just something, and and we're putting we're going to put this out to our Patreons, but this is something I think that's uh, a worthwhile, you know, venture, right? Yeah. Is to well, just because as our as our sphere and social media, you know, however big it is as it grows, which by the way, now, Josh, we, this last week, we crested 2000 followers on hey, Twitter. Hey, thank you everyone. And 200, TK2K, right TK2K. behind you. And 200 followers on YouTube, which 
that's good. And can I put a quick point? You know, we had a fantastic run with Beyond the Blasters Network for the last year. Um, uh, you know, about a month and a half ago is when we left. Uh, we built a huge followership, and we're kind of just rebuilding over at Hollow Chronicles. Yeah. And so you guys popping over, hitting subscribe, really helps us out. Sharing, telling friends, just getting a few more eyes on us. Um, something the network did provide us was a little more eyes. Yeah. And uh, now that we're on our own, we just need a little bit more help. Bump. So we can get the most out of the things that we, we'd like to do. For example, like this, we want to do an auction where we auction off toys and collectibles. Yeah. In which all the proceeds are going to go towards a, a charity of our of our choosing. Well, and I didn't tell you this, but I already talked with Ingrid, who's uh, putting that auction up, and I was I was like, we'd love to support you there too. So we may just start with her charities and then okay, you know, move on from there. That'd so be she's cool. got a couple. She also supports Dornbeckers out of Dornbeckers is awesome. Yes, I would be a hundred. My kids supporter. had to go to Dornbeckers, so they're, yep, they're amazing. I've known, yeah, the Dornbeckers is great, great, great place for kids with ailments yep and they do a good job um Quick. so yeah keep an eye keep an ear out for that and as we get closer to um bringing out the all the details for that um but we will be selling off a few things auctioning off a few things um that we have and some things that will be donated if you would like to donate something for that yep we're all ears we're looking at maybe a once a month type of deal where we throw that in there and and put it towards the right place Potentially, we don't know. Yeah, we'll just we'll try it one time, see how it goes. We'll sure. start there. Yep. That brings us to the end of the show. And the end of the show is where we like to do our toy feature, collectible feature. Sometimes it's in front of a fireplace. <laughs> Sometimes it's to music. Sometimes it's to all of them. <laughs> But this uh, is where we like to do our Red 5 Designs toy review. Oh, I almost made it back in time. Yes. Oh, I should. Did, did you see how I almost made it back in time? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh, look at a this vintage sand crawler. From 1979. This is Josh's. This is out of his own personal collection. Mm -hmm. It is radio controlled. You will need two D batteries and two AA batteries to mm. operate this bad boy. Oh, I think you might need a 9 volt in the remote. 9 volt. A 9 volt in the room? I believe. Okay. I believe. I'll double check here in a second. Keep, yeah. keep going. Keep okay. going. Sorry. All right. I was on a roll. No, no, I know. I, 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 but, I, but I might have fudged You know we're going to get called out. I know. I know. You're right. You're totally right so let me give you the deets here. all right give it up okay this came out in 1979 this vehicle is released in the u.s only in the packaging sporting the star wars logo uh printed in the rebate offer starburst hmm. um you're gonna see some accessories uh what is included in the sand crawler is the actual sand crawler itself uh, there is an elevator where it sucks up the droids. You remember that little part there, Josh? I do. Uh, it comes with some stairs that you can see when you open the door flap on the on the right hand side there. A sticker sheet, of course, an instruction uh, sheet, and a remote control, and then a Star Wars toy booklet, like a little pamphlet. Now, Josh, what do you think this sold for in 1979? I would say $50. $50. Yes. That would have made it the most expensive toy. Mm, then I will Star not Wars say $50. Toy at the time. That would, be, that would have been more expensive than the, the Millennium Falcon? Falcon. All right. Then I'm going to say 30 $29.99. Dang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I should have. All right. Do you have more? Keep going. Uh. Yeah, more facts. yeah I, got, I have one more. All right, here we go. <laughs> in 1979, this little baby would have cost you $29.99 right off the shelf. Oof. In today's market, a loose out of the box with all of its parts goes for anywhere from six to eight hundred dollars. Damn. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, With yeah. the box, it's going to go for at least $1,500. Shit. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> uh, but this, Josh, yours is, yours is in excellent condition. Very Ooh. good condition. Oh, hit it. Yeah. Let me ask you, have you ever put batteries in it and tried to... I have. And does it? It's, yes. It works. And it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> if you like to go forward, awesome. If you want to go backwards, but also turn, awesome. <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> yeah. To bi-directional. Yeah. 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 It's, a, it's one of those push it forwards, and then when you want to turn, you have to back up to make the turn. You know, it's cool. Yeah. Well, it, it's got the same remote as the R2-D2, which came out around the same time. There's an R2-D2 radio controlled, um, and it's the same concept. Yeah, yeah it's the same thing. Well, this is cool, and, and we open it up, and, and maybe you can't see in, inside of there. It's got the one of the things that are sometimes you won't find with the loose one is the ladder. But I noticed and hadn't noticed, I think, since I purchased it or at least forgot that it is missing the battery door inside. The inside. Well, thankfully, inside. it's on the inside, and you can't see it real well. Yeah. And I mean, but like you said, 600 bucks, I think back in the day, I paid, you know, five ish for it. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful piece. I, the dust is intentional. The dust on there, that's for uh, Tatooine, um, you know, kind of realism. Oh, Andy's hands. Handy. <laughs> there they are, handies. And, oh, yes, inside. How do the decals look on the, on the inside there, buddy? They're in good shape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, not bad. So uh, a nice, a nice addition to any Star Wars collection, and a bit of a gem. They're not everywhere, you know? They're not easy to find. That's why the value is a little higher than most other yeah, these, larger, you know, vehicles. These are, not, these are not easily obtainable. They don't show up on eBay, like, in good shape or complete very often. Mm -hmm. Especially with the remote and the remote battery door, because even my remote <laughs> battery door doesn't want to stay on. It just yeah. falls, slips right off. Now... It, and you can debate on whether or not this is what you want to do, but it is very common to see the parts 3D printed for this. Sure. You can get replacement parts for the sand crawler, obviously a lot easier than you can get the originals. But um, yeah, a r original complete that works pretty rare. It's a yeah. rare, it's a rare deal. Kind of like the, the skiff, you know, the. Sure. You know, yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Those are hard. Yep. Hard but but that doesn't that's not motorized so there's no. another like I have one of these but it does not work and the the I've tried yeah well I mean and and that's you know battery door that's something that you can go on I don't know have you checked eBay to see if possibly uh, I haven't checked eBay to see what the going rate for a, a battery door for a sand crawler is. Well, let's just do a quick I am doing one. it right now, man. Doing it right now. Let's see what they got. Nothing. They don't even know. Now, going rate uh, for a vintage sand crawler Canadian, 650. Okay. Now the diff you know what the difference is between the Canadian and the and the American version? Uh the Canadian sand crawler apologizes if it steals your droids. Sorry. Sorry. Nope. Okay. The difference is the Canadian, I think, has the Empire Strikes Back logo on the mm. box. Mm. But if you're getting it loose, then it doesn't matter, I suppose. Yeah. Not seeing any battery doors. Okay. I'm um, looking at the sold auctions. Sure. And a complete working sand crawler with no box recently went for $765. Okay. So that's right in line. Like you said, six to eight. Mm -hmm. And an incomplete one, two fifty. Ah, that seems low. What's wrong with it? I don't know. But the but an original uh, ladder, two hundred bucks, one hundred seventy five. Whoa! Bucks. I know. Whoa! I know. All right. Well, one hundred seventy five bucks just for the ladder. That's what I'm saying. The parts are nuts. Just the remote control, one hundred and seventy five bucks. Yeah. Kind of ridiculous. Well, anyway, a beautiful, beautiful piece. This is what you got to love about those early Star Wars, you know, vintage 
vehicles are huge. They're detailed. And back in the day, you got them for 30 bucks. 30 bucks. You couldn't buy it. Look, we just saw a Lego set that only has 250 pieces. It's going to be the size of a hamburger. And that was 30 bucks. <laughs> that so. was 30 bucks. Yeah. 30 bucks now versus 30 bucks then is a little bit different than yeah. what you'll get. You can get a Black Series figure versus a sand crawler that'll fit all of your Jawas. Every one, plus a few droids. Plus a few droids. Maybe even a DIN. <laughs> Throw a DIN in there if you want. Maybe a Krusty Owen and Amberu. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. All right. Well, this has been a Red 5 Designs toy review of the vintage 1979 Sandcrawler. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm proud to say it's mine. It is. It's yours. It's nice. It's not yours. Nice piece, mine. Josh. Yeah. You got a nice piece. <laughs> Enough. All right, buddy. Uh, any last things uh, we want to add? Uh, I'll add one thing. If you're a patron, um, we have currently added a Discord channel, which we'll be sorting out, and we'll need your help to make sure it's exactly how the patrons want it, uh, since that was a patron recommendation. Yeah, request. And what's the best part about what we're going to do over there? We are going to have a couple of forums that you can get on. One that I'm looking forward to kind of popping in and out of is the buy sell trade so if you're looking for something then maybe we can help you find what you're after or yeah and that's collectors helping collectors or toyalty or whatever you want to call it right hashtag toyalty hashtag exactly toyalty. we'll try it we'll try and hook each other up uh with things that they're target looking for. runs walmart, walmart runs yeah or if we got doubles of something you know throw it out there to the group if if uh if anybody needs something and so again this is we we try to do this anyway amongst our social media friends, um, but uh, doing it with our patrons, a little bit more intimate group, uh, maybe we can hunt, hunt some specifics down for Absolutely. some people. And then maybe they can hunt some stuff down for us too. And for each other. Yeah. That's it, where I think a lot of back scratching going on. This is so this I'm, is I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that uh, is a useful use of our time and uh, stewardship of our of our uh, collector patron group. So. I think it's the best use of our time. And we've already, look, we've already helped a few collectors within our own, you know, group of viewers. And, and some of you out there know about it. Andy, you're the master at that. Yes, Andy, I want Andy's... something in everyone's collection <laughs> from me. <laughs> from it. That's my goal. Andy's, it's, Andy's <laughs> trying to insert something from Andy into every collection. I want everybody to go, oh, I got that from Andy. Andy, you yeah. know, from the Holocron. Oh, the yeah. Holocron. Oh, the Hol oh, who, who are those guys? Are those guys? Well, well, like and subscribe and share and stuff. And thank you. And thank you. <laughs> Speaking of that, thanks the... again for joining the show. Um, just a reminder, you can find us where you found us probably today. Absolutely. Plus, Plus. which would be maybe on YouTube, or you can listen on, uh, uh, you know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, SoundCloud. You can also uh, find us uh, on Facebook at Holocronicles. And like we just mentioned, if you want to join a awesome community of collectors like yourself, pop on over to our Patreon page slash Holocronicles and join up. Just how, how, how many cheeseburgers? One cheeseburger One a month. Cheeseburger. A One month. cheeseburger a, a month. Cheeseburger a month? Just Who one. can survive on that? We can. We can. Um, and once again, thanks to our uh, partner and sponsor, Red 5 Designs. It gives us awesome opportunities to share cool toys with you. And uh, thanks to everyone that joined us in the chat. Go play with your toys. a baby. Go play with your toys is what he said. <laughs>